this just gonna be a quick video on on how much effort it takes to make one of these you know what i mean like or really the truth about making one of these because it's not easy like a lot of people just think oh if i give them the plans to make it it's gonna come out they might they might think it's gonna work on the first try it might work on the first try but it's it's not likely that it's gonna work like how mine work on the first try you know what i mean like i done started from i started from this one right here this you can look back on my old YouTube videos and see a video of this one. This was like the first one I made. And then I had a smaller one. I had this smaller one right here. This the second the second video I think I made of a paper engine on my YouTube channel. But they all just end up just I don't know. They just all just have their own their own little problems and then I gotta Make sure I don't come across them problems when I make the next version and all type of stuff. So I just want to make the video, make the video to let y'all know that this stuff ain't easy. Like it's easy to make it once you know how to make it, like or once you get used to making it. But if it's your first time, you don't really even know the problems to look out for. Really, the main problems really be like the the timing and the the friction really like other than that it should work but over time all these things just it just get friction like y'all barely seen a video of this one right here i had to run this on a vacuum cleaner at the at the car wash just to make it run i couldn't i couldn't use my lungs i can't use no balloon for this none of that this a new v twin i just got done making yesterday and it don't even work. I don't really know what's wrong with it, but it barely got friction, as you can see. Like, you can twist it like this in it. But I don't know. I, I guess the timing off probably by a little, by a little bit. But the timing, the, it's just that. Like, it's, if the timing ain't right, something going to just be wrong with it. Like, like y'all barely seen me. Y'all barely seen any videos of this one either. This was a V4. This took me... This took me probably like two weeks to make, two or three weeks to make. Like, I wasn't working on it every day, but it took a little minute to make, for real. This and the smaller V4. Like, both of these took so long to make. This one had so much friction. I could barely show y'all any videos of it. Like, but I'm gonna end up making another one, a better version. Cause like I don't know the pistons didn't really the connecting rods didn't really line up like how I wanted it to be or or none of that. But this is my first V4 I ever made. This was the first small V4 I ever made. You know what I mean? And before before I even made this one, I had a whole I had a whole another V4 like like I had the wrong timing on it. I had to break it all down, take the pistons back out and redo the, all the cylinders and all of that. And that's when I made this one, but this one had too much friction and I couldn't even and then the design just wasn't the best. Like it barely had any airflow any of that. But I'm just making this video just to let y'all know that it's not easy to make it. Even this small, this small single cylinder like it has so much friction to the point where I had to heat it up to make it run smoother and everything like that. But the more I heated it up, when it cooled back down, it had more friction than it did before. And that's why I had to heat it up every time just to just to make it run. But y'all didn't see that. But y'all could tell I tried to heat it up either with a little bit of heat in a candle or just putting it somewhere hotter like, like the, the oven or anything. I did all that. This is the first v twin thing i tried to make my designs came from from trash like i don't know like this is the latest one i made so far well actually the v twin but this the latest smoothest running one i made so far but i'm not gonna heat this one up or anything like and it's it runs perfect to me like i can run this off a balloon i can do anything with this one this one run good but all these other ones even this one right here, like the inline two, it's just not, it's just not the best. Like it got, something's wrong with it. This one leaking a lot and it's, 
it's just it just don't run as good as as I want it to run. I try to make a throttle, but I ain't really get to complete it. All of that. But I done came from these designs like two, three years ago, whenever I made it. To I done tried to make fins for cylinders and all that. I mean, I could still do that, but I'm just trying to make this video just to let y'all know that. I ain't get things done on the first try either. This was the single cylinder I just had running the other day. And the paper engine fell, you know. This one has so much friction. Like, look, I can't even push the, the piston down in there as smooth as I could. But, yeah, I'm just I'm just letting y'all know. This is the first V twin I made. It ran smooth, but I kept playing with it so much, trying to get it to work better to the point where I just messed it up. You know what I mean? Like, it be like that. So, if you try to make one and it didn't work out good, it's okay. Because I, I did too. I tried a lot. I tried a lot more times than this right here. But I'm still going though. It came from these to this. Like this one. This one is the best quality to me. But I'm going to keep y'all updated.